Hi there, everybody. Chris Bates here, editor of Grower Talks, Green Profit, and the e-newsletter Acres Online, bringing you yet another episode of the goods, hot products from the summer trade shows that you would have attended had there been any summer trade shows. But there haven't been any summer trade shows. And so we've got this for you. And uh, this time we're chatting with Becky Lacey. Becky is Associate Product Manager for Selecta One. Welcome, Becky. Hi there, Chris. How's it going? Superb. And uh, where are you broadcasting from? Because it's always fun to find out where yep, we're Yep, I am in uh, beautiful San Luis Obispo, Central Coast of California. Oh, it is beautiful. And I guarantee it's not 95 out there like it is back in Chicago today. You know what? Surprisingly, it is. We got a hot summer coming. <laughs> Watch out for fires then, for Pete's <laughs> sake. Yep, yep. All right. It already happens. And speaking of fires, I think we have a variety we're going to look at with that in the name. But don't let me, uh, don't let me get a, ahead of myself here. I'm going to do a screen share because you're here to talk about three different Selecta One varieties. Let me call them up. There we go. Why don't you tell us about what's new in the Sky Petunias? Yeah, so we just doubled our Sky assortments this year. We had three before this, and we actually were able to launch three Sky products this year. So that is really, really exciting for us. Uh, the Sky Petunias are some of our most beloved petunias out there. Um, the Sky pattern is very novel, and our, um, our social media just goes crazy over them. That's so, the one with the spots, look like stars. That is right. We, um, we've got the headliner Crystal Sky, uh, which is basically a perfect match to our current Night Sky variety. Um, vigor and um, timing basically across the board is a very, very similar variety. So if you like growing Night Sky, you're gonna really enjoy Crystal Sky. I love the color of this one. Uh, you put it in a dark corner and it just glows. Yeah, the, the, the star pattern is much more subtle with this one. And Night Sky is. is the original one that came out a few <laughs> years ago, right? So you got a little bit more of a feminine look to that one. Yeah, but it's still pretty though. And how about the, uh, the rich purple beauty up there in the, uh, the right? The electric purple sky, definitely one of my favorites. A superb performer. Um, it's got uh, a little bit more of a smaller habit compared to the Night Sky that you know and love. Uh, so it's going to be, um, you know, a little bit less PGRs than you're used to, and it's going to flower about two weeks earlier. All right. And then those are uh, headliners. The, the third one is a main stage. Make sure we understand the difference between the two series. So we're super excited because this is the first sky pattern to enter into the main stage series. And the main stage is going to be a larger, more premium basket petunia. Um, it's going to be more for large pots, big baskets. Um, it works really well in ground, uh, but this one just has this perfect mounded trailing habit. So I love it in a big basket. This one has huge blooms, um, really great tolerance for rain. It's got the dark, um, the dark blue hue and then the white picotee speckled with stars. So it's just a, a really interesting new look for our main stage series. Seems it can't decide if it wants to be a sky or a, or a, a picotee hula hoop type. Yep, <laughs> so, yep. So you get that, both. that's our glacier sky. <laughs> Very cool. Next up, something completely different here than the petunias. Yes, uh, so our Giselle flocks. Um, these have been bred for reliable rooting and shipping. And we have um, done a lot of work in our production to get that reliable rooting. So what we do is we try to prevent flowers on the stalk. So the induction of the stalk is going to give you a much more poor cutting. And so what we do is we have been working really hard to keep those plants vegetative. And that has led to four new colors. Um, so it's basically a, an overhaul of our current series. We've been able to add um, the Giselle Red, and that's probably one of our, our number one varieties this year. Um, really great cherry color and really awesome in, in ground. And uh, these are, uh, that's a grower trait you just talked about, but for the consumer, I think heat tolerance is, uh, yes. is really outstanding. I, I do have the red on my own patio and it is 95 and I was looking at it this morning. I'm actually making a video about some of the varieties out there and it was covered with flowers and healthy and, and beautiful. Yeah, so it's got mildew uh, tolerance um, or resistance. We got we to gotta work that into our horticulture industry. It's the resistance of mildew. Um, it works really great in combo. So you see it there in a few combinations. 
I really like to grow it with uh, helichrysum or sedum or a thriller item uh, like you see here in the photos. And yeah, it does really well outside um, early spring. It flowers early and it stays late in your garden. Beautiful. All right. And lastly, I mentioned fire. Here's what I was talking about. So the fireball is a new variety for our Delia series. Our Delia series is our tried and true series. This is one of our um, our longest series in our um, in our selected assortment, and it's our medium bigger garden dahlia. The fireball is really interesting because it's got the anemone, and what you see there with the hands uh, holding the twill in the middle there is. Um, you guys know, dahlias, they shatter sometimes, right? Um, and so what's really great is that twill in the middle there holds on. And so even though, you know, you might get some shatter, you still get that color there. And that's one of the fun things about this series. That's very cool. And that's exclusive to Fireball? Yes, the, just the, that the, anemone, the, that different the twill, flower the anemone. form. And yes. twill, I like that. We've learned a new horticultural term today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and raspberry is also new within the, within the collection. Correct? Yes, Those and this series. is a really fun one. Um, it's a really uh, sturdy plant and a big flower, and uh, a little hard to see in the photo we've got here now, but it does have a sort of blue hue to it, so it's very romantic looking. Yeah, rich, deep color, I know that. Well, that's uh, three really nice uh, introductions, uh, or I should say introductions to three different uh, series at Selecta One. And, uh, you know, it, the only thing that could have been better than your description, Becky, is actually standing in front of the plants with you out there in California. But uh, hopefully we can do that uh, next year at Spring Trials. Sounds good. All right. Until then. On behalf of Becky and all of her friends at uh, Selecta One uh, and all of my peeps at uh, Ball Publishing who work hard so I don't have to, I'm Chris Beatty saying thanks for joining us. Thank you.